We're actually seeing signs that Canadian and permanent resident workers are eager to find jobs to help make ends meet. And seeing this change, we know it's now time to ease our reliance on foreign workers and begin ramping down certain temporary measures that we put in place in 2022. So as of May 1st, the first change that we are implementing is reducing the amount of temporary foreign workers entering Canada in certain sectors. All employers identified in the 2022 Workforce Solution Roadmap will have a reduction from 30% to 20% of their workforce come in through the temporary foreign worker program under the low wage stream. And let me say, I don't like the name of that stream. We're going to work on changing that. That's for a future, um, a future press conference. Now, the exception to what I just said is for the construction and healthcare sectors. As Minister Miller outlined, these are areas that have uh, critical labour shortages and with the ambition that our government has for building 2.5 million homes over the next 10 years, we need to have every single worker we can in the construction sector and to make sure that our healthcare sector has the workers it needs, that exemption will be in place for occupations in the healthcare sector. In key sectors facing labour shortages, construction and healthcare, employers will continue to be allowed to hire up to 30% of their workforce through the low-wage stream of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program until at least August 31 of this year. Les secteurs clés, encore, as the needs of our economy and workforce change, so do the measures and the policies we need to implement to ensure the greatest access and opportunities for employers and workers. Now, since these are temporary measures, we will continue to monitor and adapt to current conditions. For agriculture sector employees, employers that meet all of the labour market impact assessment requirements, their cap exemption remains unchanged. This does not affect agriculture sector employers or their workers. Other sectors experiencing seasonal demand, like in fishing and seafood, food processing and tourism, will continue to benefit from a one-time-a-year seasonal cap exemption for work duration up to 270 days as we introduced in 2022. 